Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate you to like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. If you have donated to my channel in any way, Scorpio, thank you. I appreciate you more than I could ever tell you that words could say. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. I am running a 15% off sale where you just use code one year in the checkout section and you can receive 15% off readings, $30 and above. If you would like to enter to win a $125, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering gratitude in the comment section down below. But if you're doing well for yourself, let's pass this forward to our friends and family that could use the extra come up. But anybody, everybody is welcome to enter the win a free half hour FaceTime reading with moi by liking, subscribing, and entering reading in the comment section down below. Today is Sunday, my favorite day of the week. It is a beautiful day here in PA. It might rain and I am going to a luxury campground for a few days. I am taking Luna Tuna. We are headed out on the highway. Please do not mind my nails today as I am uh, getting ready to rough it in nature. Well, kind of. But I will be shooting from the road because this is our practice. We are going to start getting out here and exploring the beautiful mountains of Pennsylvania. I am very lucky to live where I do. There's so many great campgrounds and hiking and whatnot just with a drive away. So um, this is our first trial. I want to get Luna um, used to getting out and being at campgrounds and staying places because I do plan to travel and um, I have set a goal to have um, an RV. Nothing crazy but I'm going to paint it and um, you know do some things to it. Um, to start out it's just going to be a, a old RV and I'm going to take it out on the road and um, travel and work from the road. So that is my goal to um, have going by November. That being said, we are seeing what is coming for the next seven days for us. Um, I will be shooting from the road. Uh, I may not um, put any readings out tomorrow. It just depends on uh, how I feel. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. So if I wake up and I'm feeling like I want to, I am. But just know there may not be um, a reading tomorrow. Angel number 1717, self-reflection. The time has come to rely on your knowledge, your wisdom, and your ambition. You have an important soul mission and life purpose. Leaning on your inner strength will allow more of your path to unfold ahead. Wow, Scorpio, you could see angel number 1717 this week. Um, it could be everywhere. As I take leadership of my life, my life brings a flow of good fortune and good blessings. This is a great affirmation to say. I will put this here. Screenshot this. Say this affirmation. Say it every day this week over the course of the next seven days. One, two, three, four. Persistence. Keep going. You have completed a task that is alignment with your soul's journey. The divine is letting you know that it sees you and all of your persistence is paying off you are being acknowledged i claim spirit the affirmation here i take steps to stay in alignment my soul's journey and i reap the rewards of my persistence another really great affirmation to say you could see a lot of one two three four two three four one two three coming up in the over the course of the next seven days scorpio so let's get a vibe on scorpio's energy here spirit what is going on right now presently currently in scorpio's energy today sunday's energy for scorpio Vibrational match. You are sending out new sing signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences. Beautiful. 9, 10. This is great. You are getting ready to fly high above all the obstacles and embrace life in a most magical way. I claim spirit. For a lot of you, you are soaring over the obstacles. You're soaring over some sadness. You're soaring over some trials. And the divine is acknowledging this. This is really great. You are vibrationally matching with positive things in your life. Know that we are, this is not, this is not spiritual. This is scientific. We are all like tuning forks. 
all exchanging energy. We all vibrate at a certain level. And when you're vibrating at a positive level, when you're vibrating at a abundance mind in an abundance mindset, you will vibrate at that level and start bringing in really great opportunities and really good people. You're vibrationally matching Scorpio to positivity. This is really good. Trying to rise above things. Tell me what is coming over the course of the next seven days for Scorpio spiritually, spirit, and personally. Divine timing, balancing act, and onward and upward. Number 43, onward and upward. Let go of the past so you can be present and create the future you desire. Um, I'm hearing, I wish I, I could have this moment for life. I love Nicki Minaj. For life. This is my moment. I've waited all my life. I can tell it's time drifting away i'm one with the sunset i have become alive for a lot of you here there's some moment coming where you are finally starting to come out of a really dark place you're going to start feeling alive again on scorpio listen to that Nicki minaj song i'm not sure what it the actual song's called but um i I wish I could have this moment for life. I think that's what it is, this moment for life. Um, a lot of you here, you're being guided to stay right here in the present moment. Over the course of the next seven days, do it for me. Do it for yourself. Just try it. Don't allow yourself to dwell on things that happened in the past. And don't allow yourself to panic over what's coming in the future. Just stay right here, right now, in today. What can you do today to be happy? What can you do today to be fulfilled, to be your best self, Scorp? Over the course of the next seven days, it's going to help you so much. Stay in this moment. Stay in this moment of time. What you are working on right now is divinely guided. Wherever you are right now is divinely guided, Scorpio. If you're working on a project, if you're working on healing, if you're working on really dealing with some things that you haven't dealt with in a really long time or um, ha probably should have dealt with from your childhood and you're finally healing, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Even if you're 60, this is the way things were supposed to go. Balancing act here. You may be putting up all your time and energy into one area and neglecting another area that needs your immediate attention. Scorpio, you need to start balancing out your time, your energy, and your effort. Um, maybe you're neglecting paying bills because ugh, who likes to do that? Or maybe you're neglecting your health. Maybe you're neglecting um, a workout or a walk. 20 minute a walk a day, change, it changed my life. I walk for 20 or 30 minutes a day. I get out in the nature. Studies show that if you do it in the morning, the, the early morning sunlight helps produce melatonin for sleeping. It will help you sleep sleep better, you're reconnecting with nature, and you're getting your body moving. Get that stuck energy out. Get it moving and flowing through you. For some of you, you could be putting all of your time, energy, and effort into trying to heal your insides, and you're letting everything else go around you, right? You're not staying focused on your priorities because you could be so caught up in a lover. Maybe you're just so sad that you're letting everything else go. Spirit's asking you to balance it out because you are going to soar above. Positive thinking. My life is full of small patches of light. I direct my thoughts to that which brings me well-being. I place that a, the, I place what is weighty for me into the hands of the universe. Little by little, the light awakens my being and I find serenity, Scorp. You're going to. Coming out with divine fruit. As I work to improve and free myself, I strengthen my foundations. My intellect is light. My heart is warmth and my soul is strength. I am nurtured by the divine sun. The fruit I bear reflects my inner light. Beautiful scripts to say if you like prayer, if you like saying scripts, you may want to screenshot and say these to yourself over the course of the next seven days. Really start doing the work, Scorp, and change that mindset. If something is negative, what is the positive behind it? Here on planet Earth, there is always a negative and there is always a positive. Um, it is just the way it is. It is law. So 
for a lot of you, you're being guided to focus more on the positives, balance yourself out, go inward, really reflect on how far you've come. Lessons to learn. Healing work must be done. Blocked for your highest good. Soul lessons, learning, and wounds. For a lot of you, you are working on healing. You are doing shadow work. I'm so proud of you. Who's ever, whatever Scorpio Collective I'm channeling right now, something has been blocked for your highest good but you are doing the work you are really trying to heal and it's all about to pay off if it hasn't started to already just being in a good mood sometimes do you know how people can make it through solitary and confinement for 25 years scorpio in prison it, I've, i spoke to somebody before that was in jail for a very long time that for something that he had done as a teenager and you know what he told me i was always free because I was free up here. I never, I, I made a promise and a pact to myself that I would, I would not let everything, all the negativity and all the low vibrational things and the fact that he was in prison, I would not allow it to take my mind because it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what is going on. But if you are good up here, if you can can switch negatives into a positive and you can make the best out of the worst situation, Scorpio, there is never a thing to fear in life because you got you and you got your mind. So no matter what is going on right now in your life, start working on that positive mindset. Start working on being free no matter where you are or what situation you're in. You can be in a prison your whole life if you allow yourself to stay in a negative mindset. An uncomfortable, messy situation, a sly approach is necessary for some of you. It's a very tricky time right now. Your finances may not be the greatest confirmation from spirit. Your love life could be up and down. But when you are happy, achieving true independence, only you can save yourself. This is my favorite card in this deck. You can save yourself by mindset. And you can save yourself, Scorpio, by feeling free within yourself. If you allow yourself to stay in a mental prison, you're doing yourself a disservice. You really are my love. So please tell me, Spirit, what should Scorpio expect over the course of the next seven days in money, please? Something's very auspicious. There's something you're not looking at that's about to happen. Overcoming obstacles. Beautiful. For some here, your money may not be the greatest right now. You could have made a bad investment, all right? You may be uh, down to your last savings. You could have had to use your savings because you lost a job or you're being guided to save money. For some of you, you have a job ending, um, but you're making power plays. You're making progress. You're overcoming obstacles. Whatever it has been out of control here in your life, it's you're about to gain control. And Scorpio, you're climbing the ladder or there's going to be an upward trend here in your money. A upward um, tick in your money. For some of you, you could be getting a promotion. You could be revisiting a job from the past. Tell me about money and finance here for Scorpio, please. For some of you, you're unlocking. Yeah, there could be a tower moment. We're just going to take these. There could be a tower moment coming. Okay. So don't be impulsive. Don't allow anger to overtake you if you get in an argument with somebody at work or your boss does something. But for some of you, you're entering new territory. You're laying the foundation here in a job or a business. For some of you, you're thinking about starting a side hustle. There is a breakthrough though, but you are being guided to pay attention to your finances. If you have not been saving money, 3333, three, 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 angel number 333, three, 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 look it up. Just Google what is the meaning of angel number 3333 three, three, three in finance and money because there is a message in there for you. Somebody let me know if you would like. Um, a new beginning though. Setting goals here. Growth. Um, spring into action. For some of you, you've been in a funk because of heartbreak. You've had a breakup. You've went through a divorce. There's been third party interference. You've been devastated. It's been lowering your vibration. But you're about to start making power plays in your money and finances. For some of you, you have had to take a job because you were a stay-at-home parent um, and now you are no longer able to do that. For others, you are thinking about perhaps retiring and you're worried about if you're going to have enough money. There are helpful people. There is insight around. Um, for some of you, you may need to ask to borrow some money from a family member or a friend. And if you're working hard, Scorpio, and you're just dealing with a hard time right now, there's no shame 
in that. There's no shame in if you've had a lot of devastation in your life as of lately and your money's low, that you have to borrow some money. Don't be embarrassed. We all have hard times. We all have good. We all have bad. Unfortunately, some some of us, when, there, when it's hard times, it is the very fucking worst. And I mean the very worst. For others, it may not be that bad, but money just may not be as great as it usually is. It's about to get better. Set new goals. Set new intentions. Okay? Stability. You will find a stable and very prosperous um, position. Make stability top priority and commit yourself to consistency. There is a lack of stability in your life. Get a handle on your situation. This is what Spirit's asking you to do. If you fall into the category of um, there is a lack of stability in your life, set new intentions, set new goals, set um, start manifesting a new job that is more stable or set an intention to apply for two jobs a day this week for over the course of the next seven days. Make stability your um, your your absolute focus for the next seven days because when you find stability in your finances, it allows you freedom to do other things. It allows you the freedom to live out loud. So for a lot of you, you need to find some stability before you can make any real power plays. Having a strong work ethic and giving it 100% of your time that's where some of you fall some of you fall into the unmotivated and using laziness as a way to sabotage yourself you could be sabotaging yourself right now by staying unmotivated by saying nothing changes but you're not making any moves to change it i have been there I've been so depressed that I let my money fall apart, my whole life fall apart, and, and I wanted to blame everything and everybody else. But the truth was, I was so depressed I could barely get out of bed, and I certainly was not in a, a good enough mindset to go out there and chase my goals. If that is where you are, start focusing on getting your mental health together. That will allow you to focus on getting everything else together. Moving in silence while you continue to build. For a lot of you, silence is key right now. Silence is the best way to increase your personal power. That is where you need to be, keeping some things to yourself. Don't A real boss doesn't need anybody to know what their next move is going to be, Scorpio. Sharing too much too soon. Not everyone is honest and trustworthy. For some of you, you may need to um, zip it about whatever projects you're working on. Keep it closed on whatever projects it is you want to work on here in the next seven days. So moving on to love here. Tell me, Spirit. What is coming for Scorpio in love over the course of the next seven days? Paradise, happiness, expansion here, oneness, enjoying one another. This could be a soulmate. Wow, somebody here that you have a very strong union um, you could have had a completion with somebody and you have just met somebody new. I feel for um, some of you here, you were stabbed in the back. There was heartbreak. There was pain. There was a shocking attack. But there could be something sudden that happens over the course of the next seven days. Some sudden news, some upheaval, a surprise. For some of you, you've met somebody new and you're going to have a really fun week with them. Getting to know them. Enjoying one another. Going for dinners or doing whatever it is that you like to do. Netflix and chill. Whatever. For a lot of you here, you had a twin flame that put you in a third party, and now you have a new soulmate that has entered your life. This, this twin is um, a snake, and there is a snake. There's competition. Another woman or a man, look over your shoulder. Malicious spirits asking you to make healthy choices. If this twin tries to come back in, and you have started dating somebody that is so kind and so, so caring, and, and you sabotage it, Scorp, um, that's something you may want to look at if you have the you know, tendency to do that. If you constantly go back to a toxic connection and you sabotage healthy ones, it's because there's something inside of you that doesn't feel worthy. It's not because you have a strong bond and you can't stay away. It's simply that you are addicted to toxicity, but we'll lie to ourselves and say, oh, we have such an intense bond. We just can't stay away from one another, blah, 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 this and that. But it's the toxicity that you're addicted to, really. Tell me, spirit, what is happening for Scorpio with this? What is this malicious over uh, the other woman snake energy, please? What is this? This person has painted some illusion. 
They're only telling you half-truths about a third party. This person could have reconciled with a third party. They could have reconciled with, with a snake-ass third party, some malicious karmic. And there's more to the story, okay? This third party could be not who they're claiming to be. Um, spirit's asking you, is it love or an illusion? You're not seeing the truth here. This person may be lying to you and telling you that they're leaving this karmic, but they're they're really not. Or they 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 didn't go back to the karmic, but they did. So be careful. In the next seven days, they could come in and tell you a half truth. Tell me about the soulmate spirit. What is this new soulmate Scorpio seems to be having fun with or will be? Um, if you haven't met them yet, it's going to be very unexpected. But the thing is, is you're in your head too much. You're living inside your head. And you're. I feel for a lot of you here, um, that's one of the reasons why you haven't meant this new soulmate, this unexpected, unplanned love affair. For some of you, you have. But you're in your head, stuck in your head, going round and round. And, and, and I feel like you don't know what you want. You don't know if you want this twin or you don't know if you want this soulmate and the, or this is about it. What what is about to happen for some of you here? You're arguing with your twin still all the time. You're arguing with your past person there. You're not on the same page. There's a lot of fights. And for others, you're arguing with this soulmate because they're, you're just not ready to move forward and you're forcing yourself to. I feel here, Scorpio, you just are trying to um, avoid change. You're doing anything to avoid change, and you may not even realize that you are doing that, right? You may be stuck in the same old patterns, not doing anything new and want, want new results. So Spirit really wants you to take a look at if you're doing that, if you're doing the same thing, having the same fight, having the same back and forth, make up sex, then you find something out, then they leave back and forth. You really want to take a look at why you're allowing this to repeat itself because you're not manifesting somebody new and great for you because you just are avoiding change you're not seeing something clearly and i'm so sorry guys i love you all so much but i gotta give you the truth today uh mama dusty here has to let you know that a lot of you are living in illusion you're not seeing the truth there is an other woman. This person stabs you in the back all the time. They don't want to take responsibility. They tell you half truths. And you're not doing anything to move forward. You're sticking in the same pattern or still holding on hope that they're going to come back. Tell me about this new soulmate. For others, you're actually pushing yourself forward. You're trying to move on. You just may not be ready. You may not be ready for um, a new lover. And that is absolutely okay. For others, there is a wish come true coming around the corner. You're going to meet a very, very, very good person. Somebody here, go for it, Spirit's saying. A wonderful new beginning, but you're going to be at a crossroads. And that's why this is where the confusion comes in. If you meet somebody over the course of the next seven days and it feels like a really strong connection, you can feel... You felt like you've known them forever. It's the first person that's made you feel good since your issue with your twin. Um, this could actually be a wish granted. Your thoughts are manifesting. You're figuring out what you really want. I feel you're keeping your options open. For some of you, you're at this crossroads because you aren't quite ready to give your twin up or to give up on your twin so you're kind of just keeping your options open but please look at the reality of the relationship with them are they even worth your fucking time scorpio because you deserve the very best here you've been stabbed in the back so many times so you are being guided to start making healthy choices make a healthy choice y'all Tell me about this healthy choice. I feel I feel for some of you, you just aren't sure. Um, yeah, there's somebody here. There's anger. There's frustration. You feel wronged. You are being guided to take a breather, connect with nature, ground yourself before you make any real decisions, any real choice. Um, somebody is secretly watching you. Tell me about this past person spirit. This past person could secretly be watching you, Scorpio. Twin flame, definitely dealing with your twin. But we have narcissism, the cost of vanity, living in an illusion and superficial relationship. This person is superficial and can be highly narcissistic. So please, please take a look at, at 
if if you should move forward with this new soulmate or this new soulmate that wants to enter your life when you open um your thoughts are manifesting and spirits trying to let you know that so if you want to meet somebody new start getting ready get excited get 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 your mind right here so you can meet a new person um, for others, I feel that you are being guided to remember that you are not alone. You have somebody around you, a, a passed over loved one is what I feel, a ancestor, somebody here who is watching over you, who is guiding you. And so um, you will know exactly who I'm talking about. You may want to pray to them. You may want to really um, ask them for guidance, for signs, for synchronicities. This past person is fearing commitment. They can't be tied down. They may have a side piece they're hiding something something is not the whole truth they're just not telling you the whole truth they're not telling you what what really is going on but you see they're hiding from you too there's something this person is failing to tell you they're afraid to be with you for one reason or another they're afraid to fully give their self to you they are definitely in a runner energy what do they want to say please no one compares to you no matter how many people I've met, experiences I've had, there is no one that compares to you, Scorpio, but I have a mother wound. My mother is a big influence on my behavior. This person deals with mother wounds or their mother influences um, them and influences, you know, how they treat you greatly. Jeez, now we have another one down. This person could be another water sign. Y'all, you have, wow. Beautiful. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. If you want a new lover in the next seven days, Scorpio, you could meet a brand spanking new soulmate. Somebody here that's going to make you feel alive. Um, that might be why I was hearing the, the Nicki Minaj song. Because um, I, I, this is my moment. I've waited all my life. I can tell it's time. For some of you, you know it's time to move on. You know. You could meet somebody at work. You could meet a new person at work, through work, why they're at work. But you're really in your mind beat up here. For uh, a lot of you, your past person is watching you here in the page of swords or there's some kind of gossip that you could possibly hear about your past person in the next seven days. You could be dealing with another water sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign. Tell me about the snake here, the third party, please. Why do we have the competition, other woman, snake? Yeah, your person's very confused and lying. Seven of swords, two of swords, they've turned it into a stalemate. They're going back and forth between you and a third party, but they're lying about something. They're lying about having a third party or being back with this third party. For some of you, this is your emperor or empress. For some, you have children to this person. For others, this person has children to um, a third party. Um, and they're lying to you and telling you they're still not involved with them, but they are. There is half truth here. They're hiding and they're running and they're lying. Um, so please be careful and ask yourself, am I seeing this clearly? Spirit's saying that your ships are about to come in in the next seven days. We have the emperor and the empress, right? So this is definitely a divine counterpart match, but this person is a fucking clown most of the time. They can be a clown for their foolish and clown like this could be an aquarius a libra or a taurus so tell me what's going to happen in the next seven days or actually let's talk about the new soulmate please spirit tell me about the new soulmate all score it's gonna put you in your mind so badly I feel for a lot of you, you're gonna block. You're gonna block it out. You're gonna put up your walls in the seven of wands. You you just aren't ready to date, and that's okay. When you're ready, you will meet this person. But don't allow yourself, eight of swords in the moon, to stay in this illusion and this mind prison for too long, Scorpio. Um, for some of you, you're afraid this person is a player. 
and you're dealing three of swords here with a lot of pain and so you you're just staying to yourself in the hermit and you're trying to heal and that is okay but when the time is right you have a soulmate around the corner you're just for some of you you're just not quite ready because you're still in love with your twin it is not easy it is very hard to move forward but you can do it you can do it it just depends on if you are ready to stop dealing with third parties and narcissism or if you're not if you're not ready to to give up then you're not that that's okay but for some of you it is definitely time y'all it is time to move on i feel that you're making healthier choices and you're trying and the wheel is here and truth you cutting through the bullshit you getting out of this illusion yes i love it ace of swords here the truth with the wheel something really good happened something very faded happening the divine helping you move on forward the divine helping you get out of this painful energy this could be a fixed sign I really wish you the very best here. I do. Whatever it is that you want, whether it's your soulmate, a twin, or um, nobody, just to heal right now, Scorpio, you can save yourself, baby. You can get out of this. There are learning lessons, and this twin flame dynamic has been blocked for your highest good. This is the divine helping you, believe it or not. So to end the reading, I'm going to pull a few um, animal oracle card and, and some advice here. What is that? Um, give us two animal oracles. I love these little cards, guys. I love animals in general. Yes, the dragonfly. Love it. Adaptability. Along with the buffalo, abundance and liberation are finally on its way. It comes to you now to remind you that you you of the amazing manifest manifestation power of gratitude you will always have plenty when you express gratitude to every part of your creation be grateful for the people you do have for the things you do have now even if it is just whatever device you are watching this one and your mama's couch at least you have that darling be grateful for what you have and you will bring more in abundance is finally on the way to you scorpio dragonfly a Adaptability. The dragonfly is a symbol of light and change. It is reminding you to bring a bit more lightness and joy into your life. In order to bring about the changes needed to reach your full potential, approach things lightly. Go have some fun, y'all. Go out and, and have a good time. Go do something fun today. Go run down the street, swinging your arms, laughing and skipping. Let people look at you like you're crazy. Feel silly. Go um, nourish that inner child. Walk, jump on a trampoline. Go do something that makes you feel alive, that, that you don't have to think. You don't always have to think about uh, anything. You can just have a moment to just be, Scorpio, to just be alive. I feel for a lot of you, the next seven days, there's going to be a lot of clarity and a lot of aha moments. And we are just pulling all of the favorite cards out of my decks. Nothing is lost. Know that when you lose something, try to remember that there is always a deeper meaning, that anything lost will come around in another form. And no matter how badly things may seem, all is not lost, Scorpio. All is not lost. Remember, the only thing uh, the only thing you need in this life is you. You get good with you and nothing will ever be lost. There's something better right around the corner just about to come in for you. It is finally on its way. Perseverance, you've gotten through survival mode. Now it's time to live and blossom into more. The worst is behind you. Do you see here, y'all? There is progression because of your perseverance. The worst is behind you. There's nothing. It's nothing but gravy, baby. Now it's nothing, but you've gotten through the worst of it. So the rest of it, try to enjoy the ride. And over the course of the next seven days, stay right here in the present moment and stay gratitude. Uh, great, stay grateful. Show gratitude and see if there's any switch for you. See if you feel lighter by the end of the next seven days. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. My next reading will be Travel Edition, Dusty and Luna Travel Edition. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Love and light.